We're learning more about the nine people who died Thursday in a shooting attack that shattered the peace in a small town in Oregon. Authorities have released the names of the victims who were murdered at Umqua Community College in Roseburg. Nine other people were wounded. The shooter died as well. And Pierre's Tom Goldman has been in Roseburg since the day of the shooting and joins us. Tom, thanks for being with us. Hi, Scott. My pleasure. And, of course, we usually talk about sports. Not today. Oregon's your home. <laughs> Not today, in, indeed. Uh, I'm based in Portland, about three, three and a half hours north of here. Close enough for me to come here and report on this. Really, the past news cycle, as they say, have learned uh, the names of the nine people who died. Tell us what you can about them as people. Well, four were teenagers, uh, Quinn Cooper, Lucas Eibel, Rebecca Carnes, all 18, Lucero Alcarez was 19, 20-year-old Trevin Onspock was a funny guy and a damn good basketball player, according to a close friend. Jason Johnson, 34, uh, had dealt with drug addiction, according to his mom, but was proud of himself for turning his life around and enrolling at Umqua Community. Serena Moore, 44, loved horses and dogs. 59-year-old Kim Deitz was going to Umqua Community at the same time as her daughter. And then Lawrence Levine, he was a teacher at Umqua Community. He was 67. And one of the students who survived uh, but was wounded is getting uh, an awful lot of admiring attention. Yeah, that's Army veteran Chris Mintz, uh, age 30. He was shot several times as he tried to block a door in a classroom so the killer couldn't get in. And when the shooter broke through the door, Mintz reportedly told him it was Mintz's son's birthday that day, whereupon the shooter shot Mintz again. The shooter himself, some media organizations have named him. Law enforcement officials in Roseburg have determinedly not named him to try and minimize his notoriety. What's the latest we know about the gunman? NPR has learned a few things about 26-year-old Chris Harper Mercer. Uh, He trained as an Army recruit in 2008, but after a little over a month, he was administratively discharged. Now, according to our Tom Bowman, Pentagon uh, correspondent, that often happens because of poor performance or failure to adapt. There are reports about the shooter's writings. The New York Times says investigators found a typed statement at the attack site written by the gunman, essentially describing his life as not working out. There are other writings reportedly linked to social media that are hateful and angry, but law enforcement sources close to the investigation tell NPR the writings don't comprise a coherent manifesto. Officials say the shooter was enrolled in the class where he launched the attack, and yesterday an official with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms said the shooter had a veritable arsenal, six firearms recovered at the school, seven more in his apartment, all purchased legally. Tom, in all your conversations, what uh, what strikes you about the reactions in town? You know, watching the national reaction, the, the quick swing to a debate on gun laws, the president's anger about, you know, here we go again, this horrible routine being repeated, that's not the feeling here. It's brand new, and now it's personal. It hit them. I had a conversation with a local pastor yesterday who lives with his family close to the shooting site, and we were calmly discussing the events, and he started to break down. So the grief is there, buried a bit in some, obviously for the families of the nine dead, It's now a constant companion. The parents of 18-year-old victim Quinn Cooper said it most vividly in a statement yesterday. Our lives are shattered beyond repair. No one should ever feel the pain we're feeling. And Pierre's Don Goldman, thanks very much for being with us. My pleasure, Scott.